Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. In last video we learned about formatting and interpretation functions. Today we will continue the same topic and I will show you steps which will help you to use date and date has functions. So here are the steps. Step 1 is load the field in click and find out whether it is interpreted as a date field or not. If it is interpreted as date field then you have to do nothing. But if click is not automatically interpret this field as a date then you have to exclusively use date has function and tell to click that this is this is a date field but having a different format. Last step is use the date function means the formatting function if you have to change the final format of your date field. How we will see by few examples. Let's see the first example. We have date format variable has format dd slash mm slash yy yy. Date field is having a format dd space mmm space yy yy and the user requirement as the final output format is the same as date format. So how to tackle this one? Because date field is not having the same date format as per system variable, click will not consider this field as date. I mean click will not interpret auto interpret date field. Let's load this application. So you can see this is a string now because click is not able to auto interpret date field as a date or as a dual. And the same you can confirm from the data model that date field is having text format. So now we have to interpret this one. So now according to our step, let me write down steps here. So the first step is load field and find out whether it is interpreted as date or not. We have found out that this is not interpreted as dual format or date format. So we have to if no then interpret the field using date has function. So I have to interpret this field as a date has function. I have to use date has function and I will use this field and interpret means I will ask click to consider this field as a date. So I need to tell click that this field is in this format and consider this field as a date field. Now when I will load this we can see that this is now dual format number and text both are working and the same you can identify from your data model. And now the step is use date function to change the format of date field. So the final user requirement is this format so we have to use the date function. So we can use the date function and here I have to say I want this as my final output. Load the data and we'll see that this format is now changed. But because we have date format same as our final requirement, we can ignore this portion means this parameter we don't need to mention here. Date function will simply take care of our format. So when we load it, we will get the same result. Now let's see the second example. So in a second example, we have date format as this, same as dd, mm, yy, yy, according, uh, same as the previous example. Date field coming from the source data is also having the same format, but the user requirement is final output in dd dash mm dash yy, yy. So how to do this one? So first thing is load field and find out whether it is interpreted as date field or not. So I will load this field and we can see that this is interpreted as date field because the format of the source data field and the format of date format system variable is same. So now the same you can see from the data model. The tags are numeric integer date. So the this one is sorted. Now we have to move to the third step. Use date function to change the format of date field. So user requirement is this. So I have to use this directly. And I can say that I want to show this date field as this format. So we have to mention here 
the format because our system variable date format is in different format and now and in this case I don't have to do the interpretation manual interpretation because click is automatically identifying this date field as date so now when I load the data from the data model you can see that this this date field is having the same tax only difference is the format is change now let's see the third example so now in the third example we have same system variable date format dd slash mm slash yyyy the date field coming from the source data is having different format and the user requirement is also dd dash mm dash yyyy the first step is load field and find out whether it is interpreted as date or not so because this format is different it is not going to interpret so you can see now this date field as string so now we have to manually interpret this so to do that according to the step 2 we have to use date hash function and we need to tell to click that this date field is in this format now when you load it everything will work as dual now the third step use date function to change the format now you see that the date format from the source data is exactly the same user as per the user requirement so here we don't need to use this because we already have the same format this is example 3 sorry in this example another way to solve this issue is the date field is same from the source data and the user requirement so what we can do here is we can simply change the date format here and we now we don't have to use any type of function we don't have to use any formatting or interpretation function so when we load this one it will give you the same output let's see one more example here the date format variable is same as previous three examples date fill is coming in dd-mm-yyyy format but the user requirement is completely different format so in this case first thing is load fill and find out whether it is interpreted as date fill or not so now when we load this application this date fill is in text format or string format so first thing is we have loaded and it is not interpreted as date so we are coming here and we have to interpret using the date has format so here we will see here we have to tell to click that this date field is actually having this format and now when we load it it will convert to the dual format now coming to the third point use date function to change the format of date field so now the format is different so in this case we have to use formatting function and we exclusively have to mention this parameter and tell to click that please format this date field in this format mdyyyy so now you can see we are getting the final result the num numeric portion will remain same but the string format of date which we are using for the display purpose will change this is called as nested functions because we have used one function inside another hope you are getting clear idea where we have to use date has and where we have to use date hope these four examples have cleared all your doubts about where and why we have to use formatting functions and interpretation functions. I will create few more videos on timestamp and timestamp has, time and time has, etc. Till then, thanks and have a good day.